work quietly and follow along. At any point, click the pause button to catch up or take a break. Alright, if you ever have any bread at your Thanksgiving dinner, this is how you're going to draw it. Um, sometimes we have a form of like a bun or a roll. For this one, I'm just going to show you a simple piece of bread. We're going to start out with drawing, it's almost like a square, but it only has three sides that are nice, equal in length. And our two lines, which aren't connected to something, are also equal in length and they stop at the same point. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to create like kind of a heart shape, the top of a heart. One, it almost looks like a hill, and then it comes to the center, and we're going to do a second one. Two, that's a very basic piece of bread, and I think we should add a little more to that. Now we're going to draw inside a smaller three-sided box and go around our small hills. That shows the crust of the bread. Every piece of bread has that outer edge. Okay. Next what we're going to do is you can now add toppings or butter. I'm going to say I spread a lot of butter on my bread. <laughs> so I'm going to always show that little piece of butter. This is an indication it's become kind of an icon or a symbol for butter when we put it on bread. Something that people will recognize right away because sometimes people just take a scoop of butter and they plop it on their hot toast and they let the toast just melt it. Another way we can show that the butter has been spread and that there's extra butter on that toast, which Miss Dykeman did not need to eat, but she did anyway. <laughs> um, we're going to now, it's almost like, think of like spreading jelly. I'm just taking wavy lines going around, again, the inside of our toast or our outer bread line. And I just made some wavy lines, kind of like in a big square to connect it. That shows that the butter is spread. That could also be jelly or other things you put on your bread at Thanksgiving. But now I'm going to just add some texture, some lines, just to show that it's really spread out. That's how you draw a simple piece of bread for your Thanksgiving dinner.